Hey and welcome to the daily Arsenal news show. Let's begin with our daily news. Arsenal now considering winter loan exit for Marquinhos. Mikel Arteta got to assess some of his French players properly in Arsenal's 2-1 Europa League win over Zurich. The Gunners got their European campaign off to the perfect start and also set top of the Premier League. A report from The Sun suggests that one of the stars of the match may be allowed to leave in January. Arsenal are considering a January loan move for 19-year-old winger Marquinhos. The exceptional youngster was on the score sheet on his debut against the Swiss side on Thursday. He took his goal brilliantly and was clearly very emotional after scoring his first goal for the club. The 19-year-old has already impressed for Arsenal's under-21 side and will be hoping for first team minutes this campaign. It might not be that straightforward for Marquinhos to leave the club this winter. The Suns report believes that Arteta will only sanction a loan deal for Marquinhos if the club signs another winger. In the short term, this would be a good move for Marquinhos as he's too far down the pecking order right now to earn guaranteed minutes. However, a new permanent winger in the squad might affect Marquinhos' long-term ambitions at the Emirates. Arsenal were reportedly keen on a number of wingers in the summer. Villarreal's Jeremy Pino was heavily linked with a move to North London. Wolves' Pedro Neto was another name rumoured to be of interest to the Gunners. However, Marquinhos was the only wide attacker who ended up arriving at the Emirates. Arsenal should consider a January loan exit for Marquinhos as playing more first-team matches will certainly benefit the young Brazilian. However, Arteta will not want to repeat what happened last season when his side were spread too thinly at the end of the campaign and struggled as a result. Arsenal legend believes the 22-year-old isn't developing as well as he'd like. Arsenal legend Kevin Campbell has claimed that Albert Zambi Lokonka's development has slowed down at the Emirates Stadium and believes the midfielder needs regular minutes to improve further. Lokonga, who joined the Gunners last summer for a £17 million fee from Anderlecht, has been serving as an understudy to experienced midfield duo Thomas Partey and Granit Xhaka, with Partey injured. Lokonga has started the last three games for Arsenal, producing decent performances. Campbell, who scored 52 goals in 193 matches for the Gunners across competitions, was asked to comment on the highly rated young midfielder's development. He claimed that Lokonga's development had hit a snag, claiming that it could be fixed by regular game time. Campbell told the Highbury squad via HITC. He is probably not where he needs to be in his development because he probably needs more game time. He's only played three games this season. If part is fit, then he's out of the team and he's probably only going to get starts in the Europa League. So Sambi isn't probably where he should be. The Englishman continued. Do you remember in the documentary where he was bleating about not playing and stuff? Then Edin Ketea turned it around and said, well, I'm not playing, so you shut up and don't moan. But it's because he wants to play. He is a young man who's used to playing. Is he where he should be in his development? Probably not because he needs game time. I think he has done pretty well in that midfield area, considering he doesn't play. He is more progressive than El Nini. Lokonga has thus far played 29 games for Arsenal across competitions. He's yet to score or assist for Arteta's side. Romano says Arsenal were left baffled by Lino comments. Fabrizio Romano has told Kauft offside that Arsenal were left baffled by comments from Bird Lino regarding his departure from the Emirates over the summer. Lino secured his much anticipated exit from Arsenal during the past window. The German spent the large majority of last season as a backup to Aaron Ramsdale. So it was no surprise when he moved with Fulham sealing a deal a following promotion. In fact, probably, the only shock was that Lino did not leave sooner. But it does seem that the 30-year-old was not best pleased with the manner of his departure. He gave an interview with Bild where he suggested that politics was the biggest factor in him not playing rather than performance. And Romano has suggested that Lino's comments really caught Arsenal off guard. I am told that Arsenal can't understand the meaning behind Lino's words as they simply wanted and signed Aaron Ramsdale as goalkeeper for present and future, he told Kauft offside. I think Lino is a very good goalkeeper and can be a good signing for Fulham, but Arsenal had a different strategy and it has to be respected. 
In fairness to Lino, he was an excellent servant during his time at the Emirates. In the darker periods, he was often one of the few players who could hold his head up high, and he was unlucky to lose his place at the start of last season. However, he can hardly have many complaints with Ramsdale keeping the spot once he came in. The England international was exceptional when he got his chance, and he only should improve further in the coming years. Lino is a magnificent goalkeeper, capable of playing for most of the sides in the Premier League. But it does appear that Arsenal are going to really benefit in the long term from replacing him with Ramsdale. Arsenal keeping tabs with the 25 million euros rated South American midfielder. Real Betis are hoping to get the best value for one of their footballers as they could be seeking 30 million euros for Guido Rodriguez. Arsenal and West Ham United are among the teams that are reportedly keen on signing the 28-year-old midfielder with the La Liga giants hoping for sizable offers to come in the window. The Spanish club wants to bolster their squad in the summer, but Real Betis are cash strapped. There are a few footballers they have eyes on but have some in their team who could provide good returns. La Liga giants are trying to find bargain deals in the market and could also look at selling existing footballers to raise funds. Argentina International's name is mentioned as a possible departure from the Spanish club. The Argentine midfielder has many suitors in the mix and Real Betis consider him a highly valued member of their squad that may not stop them from exploring the market for potential offers. The Spanish club wants nearly 30 million euros for the South American midfielder, with West Ham United and Arsenal mention it to be chasing the footballers. The London clubs need a new midfielder, but the price tag may become a problem for both sides. Arsenal to explore the possibility of signing Barcelona star in January. Arsenal will look to explore the possibility of signing Barcelona forward Ferran Torres in January. Torres joined Barcelona from Manchester City in 2021. The Spanish winger struggled to become a regular in the Premier League, and after Barcelona's recent signings, he's found himself in and out of Xavi's Hernandez team in recent weeks. Rafinha was brought in from Leeds, and Osman Dembele has proved his fitness so far this season, meaning Torres has played a bit part role at times. Now, according to Vigaches, Arsenal will look to sign Torres in the January transfer window, with Xavi not seeing the Spaniard in his long-term plans. Although Torres didn't enjoy the most successful period in the Premier League when at Manchester City, the competition for places made it difficult for him to have a fair crack of the wipe. Arsenal have a lack of depth out wide, and with European football meaning their fixture list will be heavily congested, Torres should be given a fair amount of game time if he was to return to the Premier League and sign for Arsenal. Arsenal lineup cut price at January transfer deal for Premier League star Douglas Luiz. Arsenal are reportedly preparing to try again for the potential transfer of Aston Villa midfielder Douglas Luiz when the transfer window reopens in January. The Gunners were interested in the Brazil international back in the summer but couldn't get a deal done for him in time on deadline day. According to Todo Vigaches, Arsenal still want Luiz and Villa could be in a difficult negotiating position this January as the player will be just a few months away from being a free agent. Of course, some figures at Arsenal may view it as better business to wait until next summer to potentially sign Luis for nothing, but fans will no doubt feel the club needs strengthening sooner than that. Mikel Arteta is a little short of options in midfield, with the lack of squad depth exposed after the recent injury to Thomas Partey. There is surely a role for Luis to play this season, so fans will hope this deal or another one will be a priority for Arsenal in January. If reports are true, Arsenal have the chance to sign Frankie de Jong this January. 90 Minute have claimed this weekend that Barcelona will look to try and sell Frankie de Jong this winter, and Arsenal have to be ready to pounce. De Jong was tracked all summer by Chelsea and Manchester United, but in the end decided to remain in Barcelona, and he has started the season as a key player for Xavi's side. Much to the frustration of United and Chelsea, it seems De Jong is very much happy in Spain. However, 90 Minute has claimed that Barca might still look to move the Dutchman on during the January window, 
and that could actually give Arsenal the chance to finally get their ideal midfielder. The Gunners moved on deadline day to try and sign Douglas Luiz as injuries to Thomas Partey and Mohamed El Nini changed Mikel Arteta's thinking, but if De Jong is going to be available, then surely the Gunners need to put their name in the hat. For all the summer business conducted at Arsenal, they are still missing a few pieces in certain positions. The first starting 11 could do with an upgrade in central midfielder, and De Jong is as good as they get in Europe at the moment. Of course, a whole host of clubs will fancy getting De Jong if Barca do sell. Liverpool are among the clubs thought to be keen and Jose Enrique even dubbed the Dutchman as being the perfect signing for the Reds. Naturally, Barca will be demanding a hefty sum for De Jong, but Arsenal have shown in the last few windows they are not averse to spending big on the right player, and you'd have to say if the club are going to splash out on a midfielder, then they won't do much better than Frankie De Jong. It might seem a long shot and Arsenal fans my think there is no chance, however, you just never know in football and if the Gunners can continue to sit near the top of the Premier League table come the winter, then they might well be an attractive enough proposition for De Jong to fancy the move. Arsenal should move for Marco Asensio in January. Reported Arsenal target Marco Asensio has played just twice for Real Madrid this season and Mikel Arteta should make a move for the player in January. Asensio has played just 17 minutes of football under Carlo Ancelotti in Madrid this season. The Spaniard has fallen down the pecking order at the club and reports have suggested that Arsenal hold an interest in the player. The world-class Asensio is a Champions League winner and could be a smart move by Arteta to bolster his attacking options. The Gunners missed out on Rafinha this summer as the Brazilian completed a switch to Barcelona. Arsenal did look to another attacking target such as Pedro Neto, but they failed to land a winger to compete with Bukayo Saka and Gabriel Martinelli. And Asensio could be the perfect player to come in and provide some much needed depth across the Arsenal front line. The Spain international is a versatile player who can play on either wing and as an attacking midfielder. The 26 year old may have fallen down the pecking order at Madrid, but he is still a talented player. Asensio grabbed 12 goals and 2 assists for Ancelotti's men last season when he was playing more regularly. Arteta has been on the lookout for players who can provide depth and competition at Arsenal and Asensio fits the bill. The winger has under a year left on his current deal, so if Arsenal were to move for him in January, he could be available at a cheap price. The Gunners have started the new season brilliantly and currently sit top of the Premier League, but there are doubts over the size of their squad and Arteta may need to dip back into the market in January and Asensio should be high up on Arteta's shopping list if he's looking for a player to provide competition for Saka and Martinelli. The Gunners have already brought in two players in Gabriel Jesus and Alexander Zinchenko who have enjoyed a decorated career and if Arsenal did move for Asensio, he would add more of this know-how to the young Arsenal squad. I will be uploading daily Arsenal news, so keep your eyes on the channel and don't forget to like and subscribe. I appreciate your support. Peace out.